a chance where Ronald Jones doesn't make the Chiefs 53-man roster? What is going on, guys? It's your boy, CJR Sports, and today we'll be talking about will Ronald Jones really be making the 53-man roster? Let's get right into it. So, Charles Goldman of the Chiefs Wire, who first I want to put out, isn't much of a reliable source for this type of information. He's not used to, you know, kind of projections and like who's be making the roster and who's not. So th- this is not in his wheelhouse. But he projects CEH, Jarek McKinnon, and a rookie to take over um, as the three running backs on the roster. And he also expects and projects that Michael Burton, the fullback, will also get cut, leaving Ronald Jones out in the cold and will be a free agent. Because you remember, Ronald Jones only signed a $1.5 million deal in free agency, and he was only guaranteed seven hundred and fifty k. so th- there's really no ties to him. The way how this deal was kind of constructed was this type of deal was for if the team if he was able to make the roster he would be cheap and if the team ha- would ev- would able to have to move on from him in pre agency it wouldn't be a major issue. At the same time, like we said, if Jones was able to add a element to the Chiefs backfield where the Chiefs have lacked in recent years and where Ronald Jones kind of has been. Okay with the Bucks, where there were some games where he would go off and run for 80, you know, 80, 90 yard touchdowns, and there were some games where he wouldn't show up and actually get benched for Leonard Fournette in the past two seasons. So the Chiefs went out and they addressed the position. They got Ronald Jones for a cheap, indicating that Jones could be part of their plans, but Charles Goldman has a different point of view. Suggesting that Jones, and due to his history of the mistakes he's able to make, not only as a running, not only as a someone that's carrying the football, but someone that that's also bad in pass pro, and with no special teams uh, availability, he may need one hell of a strong training camp just to solidify him. Maybe just as the third running back on the roster. To that point, Jones kind of fell off to the favor with the two separating coaching staffs in the past four years with Tampa Bay, so losing his roster spot to his seventh-round rookie would be a tough scenario. Jones uh, Jones could be someone where they could use in third-down situations that could, be a, that could be a pass catcher or that maybe Tampa Bay was hoping him to be, but... He really, they had to go out and sign Giovanni Bernard just to take that role from him. And when Leonard Fournette was able to solidify himself as the the way better RB1, he had no chance, did not stand a chance against what Leonard Fournette was able to do. So, now we kind of know some of the information on why we think, or Charles Goldman thinks, that Rojo will be cut my perspective is I don't. I think if you have uh, uh, Clyde Edwards, Hilary, Jerick McKinnon, and 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 Ronald Jones, your running back room will be fine. The seventh round rookie can be a practice squad player, and if someone gets hurt or if something becomes an issue of he has a fumbling issue, you can always cut him. You don't have ties from him. He's only seven hundred and fifty K. You can trade him. And won't I mean you can probably trade him for a sixth, seventh round pick. Or just to cut ties with him would be way easier. And you move him up. Because I Rojo definitely still has a little bit of upside. Not tons, but still has a little bit of upside where I think the the Chiefs could capitalize, and they need someone that's good on the ground game where I don't know how CEH has still has been eh, over the past couple of years. Jarek McKinnon, in, you know, is always getting injured. 
So there there could be a chance where Rojo w- could end up as the RB1, so I think it would be a mistake if the Chiefs go out and they cut him. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think if Rojo will make the 53-man roster. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's your boy, CGR Sports. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. Peace, guys.